Faida Gaston, welcome, and thank you for blessing us with your presence. So Faida is a digital artist based in Kigali. During uh, the COVID-19 pandemic, he participated in art contests and created artwork depicting the hard work, patience, and the courage scientists have displayed in the face of the challenge of making a coronavirus vaccine. Thank you very much for joining us, uh, Faida. Please, um, I think the microphone is not working. Can someone fix it for us? Thank you. And then we're also, oh, it's not working, I think. Yes, and then we're also gonna be joined by Lynn Newman. She directs Artichoke, dance company based in Brooklyn, New York, and works at the intersection of performance innovation, environmental activism, community building and civic engagement. Her groundbreaking work inspires people to gather around uh, pressing environmental and social issues to build community, create art, and enact uh, change. Lynn Newman, hello and welcome. Thank you for joining us. Can we have the sound, please? Can you hear us? Hi, Lynn, can you hear us? Yeah, we can hear you. Oh, oh great. And then we also have uh, Indu Anthony. She's an artist based out of Bangalore, India, born and raised in a conventional Indian family from Kerala, India. She overcame various social obligations to pursue her forms of expressions she has hence been working with individuals from the fringes of society. She is known to explore tonalities of inward discussions which later unburst out into the communal spaces. Her work uh, comprises understanding feministic stance which gives way to performances and installations. Uh, thank you very much for joining us, Indu. And then, and then finally, we have uh, Andrew. Um, do we have Andrew? Okay, I, he's not gonna be joining us. So on our session, just allow me to just give a small background on it. Um, the, job, the objective of our next session aims to discuss the impact of COVID-19 on creative communities and I highlight the role of art in crisis and how artists have provided solutions, support and comfort during the pandemic. Now pandemics are a time of great uncertainty and the measures put in place to contain them can themselves generate stress and anxiety. Artists have historically helped people to stay resilient during challenging times, acting as vehicle for influencing social behavior and expressing collective experiences. Thank you very much, everyone, for joining us uh, today. Now, just a general question. How did COVID-19 impact not only you, but also your work? Can we start with uh, uh, Gaston Faida? You're already here. Thank you. you. Just have the honor, yes? Yes, uh, thank you for the question. I said, uh, my name is Faida Gaston. My real name is, and uh, on the other side of reality, my name is Flash Gaston, digitally. Uh, for the question, Corona, when it first came, they told us uh, we have to wait for like two weeks and th things will be normal again. Hello? Okay. As I was saying, in the beginning, in the beginning of this pandemic, Corona started like in March 2020, and uh, they told us to wait. They told us to wait for like two weeks, and then things will be back to normal. And then two weeks ended, and then boom, now it's two years. Uh, after those two weeks, 
There came three months, other months, other months, and uh, Corona continued being worse. So for like artists, because we connect with people, we, uh, we do it for our audiences, we first panicked and uh, thought about the changes, what will happen. Will we, will we be able to go with the changes? Will we be able to update ourselves? Will we continue to have the revenues we were having before? And uh, I am a digital artist, but I also do many other uh, platforms which are traditional and stuff. During COVID, I was forced to do only digital arts because I had to stay at home and still be creative. And uh, for digital artists, we use mostly uh, social medias. Every other artist use it, and but mostly so digital artists. So for like me, I had to attend many things and uh, prove my ideas, prove that auto also artists can uh, have creativity that can contribute to what's happening to the world. Uh, if the team allows me, they can uh, display here an image I called Corona Outbreak, if it's possible. And I will describe it because it's better to describe uh, artworks when they are there. Unfortunately, we don't have it, but you can just give us uh, a small uh, brief, a small summary about uh, the project. Okay, uh, it, was, uh, it was an artwork I did out of my ideas. Uh, in the artwork, I made the uh, Earth as a globe, celebrating uh, 2020 BC, no, after Christ, and then in its room, the coronavirus entered, crushing the party. Because it was like in the beginning of the year, internationally it started 2019 in China, but it spread all everywhere, mostly in the beginning of 2020. So I was thinking, what if I make Earth as a character? What was the reaction of the character? How did Earth rea react to this new pandemic? So it's the same on how we, as people, reacted to it. We were imagining like we had influenza before and some other pandemics, and uh, they were really bad, really, really bad, so that uh, businesses were closed similar to what was happening in the beginning of COVID. Artists were not doing exhibitions. Exhibitions were closed as well. And we were thinking that it might be also worse as it was there. Uh, continuing with my journey as an artist in uh, the pandemic, I, uh, there was a contest, a UNHCR contest, which uh, wanted artists also to be part of what's, uh, what's happening, but also mainly to refugees. Uh, I participated and uh, fortunately I won a global award. My artwork was uh, the main key of me winning. Congratulations. Well, thank you very much. Uh, I wish the team would display it here, but no problem. The artwork I made that time was called The Reign of Love. So they asked me to explain it that, art, that artwork co was composed of people in a camp. Oh, this was the first image I was saying of uh, Earth being invaded by coronavirus, if you can see it here. Oh, right, yeah. yeah it's crashing the party and the tea is split, splitting in the air. <laughs> if they can display rain of love, and uh, it's the one which, which is current right now. The artwork I made, I was congratulated because it created solidarity Yes, uh, this yes. Is, this is it. It created solidarity among uh, refugees and also people living in similar situations. In this artwork, you can see uh, falling hearts like rain, falling everywhere, falling to everyone. For me, it was like a wish as an artist visualized in an artwork. What if people put together uh, everything out of love and help people with uh, such situations? Because Refugees, even before the pandemic, they were in critical life. But in the pandemic, it's worse. But what if in the pandemic, such things like this happen? The world could be a better place. What if anyone could get blessings in the air, falling like rain, and no one is going to fight with another, compete with another? Everyone has his her blessings. So there will be peace. So these can be used to raise awareness that anyone can contribute to this happening in real life. 
This is more like a fantasy, but it is a mirror of what can happen in reality. So during the pandemic, it was a good achievement for, a, for an artist like me, doing something seated in my room, but going across the globe and uh, spreading good message and giving solidarity. As like an answer to the question that you asked me, this is how we reacted to the world and the pandemic. We also continue to wish people could still be human and uh, do such things. Uh, you also mentioned the network I did, which was uh, showcasing the challenge of making vaccines. We heard vaccines were being made that during the time I made the artwork. If the team can display the artwork vaccine challenge, I would also talk about it. We heard that uh, the coronavirus made mutations. You're going to cure this one and it changes its physical appearance and everything. And we imagine will these people be able to make uh, vaccines at, th at the right time? I was like, yes, that's a challenge. They are uh, scientists, they have to figure it out. But what if I visualize it and maybe make it a, a network for it to, to show people how hard it can be for someone to make such a solution in hard times like this pandemic? Uh, if they display the artwork called Vaccine Challenge, I made, it's like fiction. I imagine like uh, the coronavirus being something scary. I had to make it big. I had to make it a, a challenge. What if they were fighting things which looks scarier and bigger than them, but they will, skill, they will still risk their lives to fight it to save the world? So my role as an artist, I was going to visualize it and give the feeling of the hard work which scientists went through to give us what we are receiving here for free now. We are going uh, in better days. The pandemic is no longer hard as it was before, but uh, the real heroes behind it are the scientists, doctors, many who sacrificed their lives, others uh, who work tirelessly, and then us as artists, we can display that. We can put that in a network and people could get that feeling. Definitely, and as you mentioned, um, of course, everyone thought that COVID-19 was just gonna stay in China, but then unfortunately it spread all over and we did not see it coming. And of course, it definitely affected so many people in the world, which also uh, takes me to you, uh, Lynn. You're a director of a dance company. Tell me how you managed Tell me how you managed to provide solutions, support and comfort during the pandemic, because I know all of us were affected. Tell me how you, were man you managed to do this. and to also, also like provide my
Right. Now we've seen from uh, Gaston that you can actually reach out to the world by just being in your room, and also from uh, from Lynn that you can actually gather people through dance, which is something amazing, and it's something that most of us don't even know, especially if we're not artists. But we get to have love shared from you. Now to just um, come back to you, Indo. Can you just highlight for us how artists help people to stay resilient through such changing times by giving us also some of uh, the examples of your work that you've worked on? Right, now we talked about, we looked at how um, art managed to, uh, managed to provide solutions, supports, and comforts during this pandemic to people. Could you tell us how art managed to provide all of those things to you, the artist? Because you're already providing us the solution, the, pro, the, the comfort, um, the support, but what, was it enough for you? How were you being comforted, supported uh, by providing those three things to us? Uh, let's start with you, uh, Indu.
Amazing. Um, Lynn? Right. Now, Gaston, can you just tell us in a few words how art came to Sen by also providing us comfort, support, and uh, all Nanhe comfort and support, basically? Uh, how art kept me, you asked? Sorry? How, I have to discuss how, how art kept me. How you. art kept you Sen during this crisis time by providing us the support and comforts by providing us this beautiful art and showing love to the people. How did it keep you sent during this COVID times by just being in your room and mm. painting? Yeah, well, for me, in this pandemic, art, I benefited in both ways, uh, by skills, also economic, but especially, I had to think differently of, on how I viewed things. Because uh, the pandemic, changed many things uh, mentally and physically, showing us that we can still live even if we are not meeting each other and we are not doing it physically and uh, the world can still go on. So we had to think of many, uh, we had to get many inspirations on creating different uh, topics than we did before in our lives. Before I used to, to love doing things which are funny, messages which are general, things that everybody did even before. But this pandemic was new for like me, I'm young. This is the only pandemic I faced. So it changed my mind and I, I had to be creative to see if there is something positive I can get out of this negative time. So I had to be productive, work very hard and uh, see if ideas can still be working in the time when people are not having hope. And then when you do something and it turns out very well in the society, you are happy too. So I felt more important as an artist 
during the pandemic too. Even if it was not well benefiting in terms of money as before, but people were interested uh, if on seeing what artists have to say or what they have to do, what creativity will uh, be doing during when people are alone, when people are uh, mentally stressed. So for me, it was very good because uh, I showed my, uh, my part as an artist contributing to what is happening to the society and the society will keep, keep moving on, keep moving on and I will be happy because I did something and it will be memorable even after the pandemic. Well, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Um, Faida Gaston, thank you very much for your inputs. Lynn Newman, thank you very much for sparing time to be with us right now. Um, Indu Anthony, thank you very much. It was really nice having you today and hearing more about art and how you manage to support, give solution and comfort the people. Thank you very much. <laughs>